Hello everyone. Well, in this video, I'm going to discuss about JWT token and how to access the endpoint which are secure using the JWT authentication mechanism. So what is a JWT token? JWT token stand for JSON Web Token. Basically, it's an encrypted string. So you have information in the plain text. This information will be fed to the encryption logic and the output of the encryption logic will be the encrypted string. JWT authentication mechanism is much more secure as compared to the basic authentication because the token which get generated has an expiry date. Once the expiry date is passed, you need to generate the token again in order to access the endpoint URL. So this is the standard format of the JSON web token. The first part will have the information about the algorithm which is used for creating the token. The second part will be the data. And the third part is the verification signature, which will be used for validating this token. So let me show you a sample JWT token. So this is the sample JWT token and it is signed using this secret. You can decode the token by going to this website that is JWT.io. So this is the algorithm which is used for creating this token. So this is our payload. Every token will have a issue date as well as the expiry date that define the life cycle of the token. And the third field is the verify signature. So this is the secret which I use for signing the token. So signature verified. So let us discuss how the JWT authentication flow works. So you have a client and you have a server. First, client is going to register at the server and in the request, the client is going to send the username and password. Once the registration is done, the client is going to send the login request and the body of the request will have the username and password. Server will authenticate the body. That means whether the username password supplied is the valid one or not. If the authentication succeeded, server will respond back to the client with the JWT token with the expiration date. The client will then store the token and for all the subsequent requests, the client is going to attach this token in the header of the request and send to the server. Once the server receives the request, it is going to extract the token from the header of the request, validate the token, validate its expiry and based on the validation, it is going to respond back to the client. So let me show you how it is done via Postman. So this is the Swagger documentation of the endpoint URLs. So this is the endpoint using which we are going to register ourselves. And this is the endpoint using which we are going to authenticate and generate the JWT token. And all these other endpoints are secured with JWT authentication mechanism. That means we need to supply the token in order to access this endpoint. So first, let me try to access any of this endpoint without the token. So this is the endpoint URL. I'm going to send the get request. So you can see here, we did not supply the token in the header. That's why we are getting 401 unauthorized. So let us create a token. So first thing what we need to do is to register ourselves. So I will navigate back to the Swagger documentation. And here the body is in the JSON format and we need to supply the username and password. So post and body URL and the body. You can ignore the ID and I'm going to send this request. So you can see here our user is registered. After that, I need to authenticate my user. So for that, I will use this endpoint and I need to specify the same username password which I just registered as a body of this request.
So this is the JWT token. Let me decode it. So you can see here, this token is issued just now and the expiry date is after two hours. And signature verified. So now onwards, whatever the request I'm going to send, I need to attach this token with the request. So in order to attach the token with the request in the postman, you can go to the authorization tab and select bearer token and specify the token and then send the request. So now as you can see here, we are able to access the endpoint. So after two hours, this token will get expired. After that, you need to call the authentication endpoint again to generate a new token and use it in the request.